Okay, so you have a million dollar app idea and you're ready to take out all your savings to pay a programmer to build it. Now stop, because today I'm gonna show you the simple three-step process that the most successful startups use to plan their app before building it. And I guarantee you that you can do all of this in just 30 minutes or less with only one AI tool, and it will save you from a world of pain and financial misery. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. As the saying goes, failing to plan is planning to fail. My goal for you today is to save you from being one of the 90% of apps in the startup graveyard. But even if you hate planning, you're gonna enjoy it with the tool I'm about to show you. Now, first off, if you haven't yet set up customer discovery interviews and haven't done any validation for your startup idea, I would highly recommend that you start there. Because if we're not able to build something that people use and are willing to pay for, then none of the other hard work is gonna be worth your time. But once you have a solid idea, it's time to put it down on paper and get into the specifics. And for that, I jump into the only visual planner that I actually enjoy, which is called Miro. And for those of you not familiar, it's a planning and collaboration platform that actually makes this process fun. And trust me, I'm not the kind of guy who loves crazy planning, but this platform actually makes it easy to use and visual. But most of all, I can't wait to show you the AI tools that make this process way easier. Now let's jump in. So when you come to their website, you're gonna see that they market themselves as a workspace. And I love that everything inside Miro happens on a Miro board, which is basically the intelligent canvas. Let's click on this. And now you're gonna understand why this is so powerful. This intelligent canvas allows you to do a number of different things. And this canvas has so many use cases. Let me bring you through them. It could be like this, a sprint board that you're fully managing here. You can create brainstorming sessions, planning sessions. You can plan for an app, for example. So here, for example, you have a template for a sprint planning, all the road mapping, retrospective, the brief, uh, research synthesis, everything done within one visual board. And you can have all your team members in this at the same time. And it makes it just really practical for the kind of collaboration side of things. They've been implementing a bunch of AI features I'll be showing you in a second that make it way quicker to do all this planning work. So I'll use this to create a first version and then fine tune it from there. And then integrations. You can actually sync this to your Jira, for example, which is kind of a project management tool. You could sync it with your Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, Slack, etc. So that's what makes this so cool. But let's jump in and start planning our app. Now for this video, I'm going to be planning an app that I'm actually going to build in a future video. It's going to be a hiring platform that allows you to upload your resume and basically find a job description. And then with the help of AI, we're going to transform that resume into an optimized resume, specifically targeting that job description. And so the goal here is going to be to help people land their dream job. But now that I have the idea, what do I do? Well, this brings us to the first step of this process, which is going to be to build a mind map and a flowchart. You see, a mind map is something that allows you to see on a high level what is happening within the app. And a flowchart allows you to simply visualize that step by step from the user's perspective. So let's jump in and get building. And when you log into the platform, you're going to find yourself here and you can either choose to create a blank board or to create an existing one like a flowchart, mind map, Kanban. I could simply use this template here, which is the mind map. But in this case, I'm just gonna start from complete scratch. My board is open. I'm gonna click here on the left-hand side, create with AI. Now when I'm in my board, you're gonna see on the left-hand side are all the different things I can do. And then on the top right, you're gonna find your collaboration tool. So you can even go live on video as you're presenting and your colleagues could be here and just giving you feedback. First, let's jump to this AI, create with AI here on the top left-hand side. And here you're gonna notice you can create sticky notes, you can create documents, you can create images and diagrams. So I'm gonna click on diagrams here and I'm gonna kick it off with a mind map. Now underneath here, it's gonna ask me for a prompt. I'm simply going to describe the mind map I want it to create. Please create a mind map for a web app that allows job seekers to upload their resume, share the link to a LinkedIn job post and have AI generate a resume optimized to that job description. Boom, and it's now done that, so let's check out what it's created. It has created a couple of different things. The first one is the user interface, right? Homepage, resume, upload section, job post, link section, AI resume generation section. Underneath here, it's created the resume optimization. So it's AI analysis, customizations. Then it's already determined, hey, we need some notifications and we also need some analytics and feedback. On the other side here, it shows us the user accounts. It says that it needs integrations with LinkedIn. It says help and support. And it really gives me a full map of what we need to be thinking about when we're building out this app. This alone would usually take quite a bit of time to actually plan out. But in this case, I've generated in just a couple seconds. And from here, I'm gonna start fine tuning it. Now, the first thing I notice is I'm not gonna be using any notifications or analytics and feedback at first because I'm building an MVP for this. So I'll just delete that. And as you can see, it's just going to basically reorganize the mind map. I also realized that in this case, I'm not gonna start off with customization for this. So for resume optimization, I'm not gonna need this. And now we're done with this side and I can check out on the other side. What I'm gonna see is I actually don't need an integration with LinkedIn. I also don't necessarily need a help and support section yet. I'm gonna delete those. So now I pretty much have the mind map. 
I can go closer and I can start fine tuning it here as well. But I think it's done a really good job in identifying what I would actually need. And once I'm happy with this mind map, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And I'm basically gonna use AI to create a document. Now this document, we're gonna create a product brief just from this mind map. It's gonna write this entire thing out with AI. And I can basically just grab this, which is the product brief. And then we're gonna create this flow chart. So let's go ahead and go inside the AI again. We're gonna click on uh, flow chart. So let's see what is created here. It says here, we're gonna upload the resume. If it uploads correctly, we're gonna analyze that. This brings you into a lot of details of what you would need. And so even things that as a non-technical person, if you're working with a technical team, providing them with this information is gonna be super valuable. But here it allows you to think of things you didn't even think about. For example, include keywords, suggest keywords, and match skills, align with job description, finalize resume. All these are steps that we're gonna actually be doing with one simple automation. But in this case, what's amazing is that it's already breaking down all the things that have to be done. And then finally download the optimized resume. So now we're pretty clear on the kind of features we're looking for and how that would look from a user experience. It's time to talk about a very important step, which is nerdy and is boring, but don't worry, we have AI to do this for us. Quick side note, my friends, if you have an idea for an app, but you don't really know where to get started, it might be your first time and you're not a coder, then I highly recommend that you check out our course below. It's a full course bundle. It breaks down how to come up with ideas, how to validate those ideas, how to build the first version of the product, leveraging no code and AI tools. So you can save yourself from the frustration of trial and error by just following a step-by-step -step process that works. We're even currently running a limited time discount and we have a 14 day refund guarantee. So there's no risk for you and you can check out that discount in the description box. And now back to it. And number two here is going to be to structure our database. So what we need to do is to map out what that database looks like. So what are the pieces of information that we're gathering and from what data points? So for example, a user might have the data point of first name, last name, ID. And this part is important so that we build the database structure properly. Christian, databases are boring. I get it. Let's just jump in and do it with AI. Before I start, I'm gonna add here a little timer because I tend to overspeak and I wanna show you how quickly this can actually be done. And I'm gonna add the prompt here that I created. Please create a database structure for a web app that allows job seekers to upload their resume and a link to LinkedIn job description and the app will create a downloadable resume optimized to that job description using AI. Go ahead and this time we're gonna choose an ER diagram. And less than a minute later, we have a diagram here. So let's see what it's created. It's given, as I mentioned, the user has a user ID, has a username, an email, a password. And then this has created additional data points here for the resume, also for the job description which we're gonna be wanting to gather from the actual link uh, on LinkedIn. Then optimization request, the AI model, optimization results. And now we have a pretty good mind map of what these are. So you can take a little second here to fine tune all of these data points. If you have additional data points you think are gonna be necessary, you can add them here. And then you can easily extract this or even highlight it again and create a document summary. Boom, and we have two minutes and three seconds left here on it. As you can see, this was incredibly quick to do. And I even have a um, some key points from this as well as the diagram that now I can share with programmers if I want to. I can also just use this as a point of reference if I'm gonna be building out the database myself. So at this point, I pretty much spent 15 minutes doing all of that planning. And for the additional 15 minutes now, we're gonna jump into the third and maybe most important step here. But before that, I wanted to take a chance to thank Miro because when I reached out to them, telling them I wanted to create this video, they accepted to sponsor this. So they're allowing you to watch this all for free. Thank you so much, Miro. Check out the link in the description. And now that we've done the necessary but kind of boring part of the planning, we can start going into the feel good tasks. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this third step. Step three is to create wireframes. In other words, to grab some of this theory and to make it look visual so we can see what the key screens we're gonna have inside of this web app actually look like. And so for this, the first thing I'm gonna do is going to be to grab this entire mind map and I'm gonna, with AI, choose to create a custom prompt. Create a wireframe doc for this mind map. Boom, beautiful, I love AI. Okay, well, here we see that the main screens we're gonna create are homepage, resume upload section, AI resume generation section, user interface, user account. So now we're ready to start wireframing. If I close this out, I'm gonna be able to add a specific tool here. I'm gonna look for wireframe, wireframe library. I'm gonna add this to my uh, left-hand uh, navigation, as you can see here. And because I'm gonna create a browser-based app, I'm actually going to just grab a browser. There you go, here's gonna be the first screen. Create another one, 
another one. So now I can rename all these titles based on the ones that we have inside the documentation. And then I'm gonna start adding some of the information underneath that I already have from that documentation for each one of these. And for this, I'm really just gonna to stick to the main ones like the home page, right? This is probably gonna be a slightly larger one here because it's gonna be a landing page that's selling my service. The dashboard is gonna be for when someone has logged in. Uh, and from here, we're gonna allow them to essentially create new resumes. Then we have the resume library, which is all of our resumes. We have the resume details page as well, and the user settings. I'm not gonna create login screens here, but this is where I can start visually creating what I think I want this app to actually look like. So here I'm gonna show you how to create maybe the homepage, for example. So here I might just grab a rectangle, for example, and then maybe make this the header, right? And again, this is low fidelity, meaning that we don't have to make it perfect. We just wanna be able to communicate with our team what we're thinking of building. And then we can start collaborating by bringing some of these people in. So let's just create a basic nav bar here. On the right hand side here, we're gonna have this icon, which is gonna be like your user account. Then I'll probably want to have a button here in the top right, which is gonna be sign up. Then we could have different sections as well if we wanted to. Uh, probably just add an icon here as a logo. Usually I like to have a button here which is going to be the same call to action as here land your dream job find gig allows you to adapt your resume to target your dream job using ai and now on the right hand side i probably just want an image so i could just come down here and I could grab an image and then this would be enough for me to start having a conversation and I can create all the sections here but for the sake of you guys watching I don't want to bore you let's jump into the next one now the next page here would be the dashboard now I'll probably copy the nav bar however here I noticed that basically we're going to want to have the logged in button here because once someone has logged in this is going to be pushing people to log in and this is once people have already logged in but then I can start creating things. So here, probably just a welcome page. We might have just a little explanation text. Could also have a little video here of me maybe explaining a little bit and then telling people, okay, great. Now we want you to create a new resume. And then here, create new resume. Here's where I would ask them to upload their resume. Then I would allow them to drop the link of that resume. And then I would just have a button that says, generate optimized version and so on and so forth. You can basically build out your entire wireframe here and then you're gonna have such a clear vision of what this app needs to actually look like. And then once you have something that you kind of like but you want feedback about, you could just grab share. We can copy this and invite guests. So if you have a customer and you're trying to talk to him about the actual app you're about to build for them, you could invite them in and people can collaborate within this platform very easily. And as you can see here, Slack, Google, Microsoft, you can basically do these integrations and invite people through there as well. Now, trust me when I tell you that taking these 30 minutes of planning before you jump into the building is gonna save you lots of pain. The best way to do that is with Miro. Check out the link in the description below. But if you're now ready to build your app and you don't have technical skills, then check it out because in this video, I've built out an entire app in 48 hours. I even got a first paying customer for it, all without writing a single line of code. So check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and subscribe. My friends, I'll see you soon. Let's go.